Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a book summary of the book called Life 3.0. So this book is all about artificial intelligence and the questions that researchers are asking about the upcoming future of how artificial intelligence is going to be involved in our life, in our everyday life. There are a lot of deep philosophical questions that come up when researchers are discussing the possible future scenarios of artificial intelligence. So some of the main questions are, will humans fuse with machines, K okay, like bionic shit, like arms and, um, I just, I literally think of Terminator, okay? Is that shit gonna happen? Next question is, will machines bend to our will? Ooh, what? So are we gonna have like, you know, slaves? Are we gonna have like slave robots, you know? You, do my dishes. You, fold my clothes, do my laundry. Mmm, robot, I wanna have a robot mate. Y'all wanna have robot chefs? I'm down. And the next most scary question is, will AI take over? Because it seems to be a possibility. Okay, I'm coming from a background of having absolutely no idea about AI machines, like the latest research when it comes to artificial intelligence. I'm just like a normal person who does not pay attention to that kind of stuff. So reading this book was really enlightening and mind opening for me. And it caused me to like, ask a lot of questions myself and to be curious and to just be aware of what is actually going on in our world and what is actually going to happen or possibly could happen in our future. So this book extrapolates on the possible futures that we could be living with when it comes to AI. So the whole title, Life 3.0, is kind of based on like a theory of like, oh, right now we're kind of coming into the life 3.0 era so the first like life 1.0 is all biology okay it's how our world was created biologically with chemicals okay so like our dna nature that's life 1.0 life 2.0 more advanced is our culture our societal norms, education, our government, our organized societies, okay? That's, so this is directly coming from humans. So like, so like lions and like elephants and stuff, they live in the life 1.0 kind of like level. We right now are fully fledged into life 2.0 with the advent of culture, art, those type of things. Now we're entering, or we kind of are are on the cusp of life 3.0, which is machines. Now we're merging with machines and robots, technology, internet. All of these things are part of life 3.0. So the actual definition of life 3.0 is a form of technological life capable of designing both its hardware and software. Although this type of life doesn't exist, it is on the cusp of manifesting through our reality, through AI, okay? So it's like a robot that can like upgrade itself. It's like self upgrading. So it's like how our body like upgrades itself and like gets rid of all the dead cells and like, you know, regrows new cells, regenerates. The, the robots can do this. It won't need us to like upgrade its software anymore. It'll just be able to do it by itself. So um, according to the author, AI is advancing quite rapidly I, I really want to hit home with you guys that machines are capable of learning it's not like oh they just get a program and they just run on the program on repeat they have created machines that can literally learn and like be creative now like a human being would okay so they created like machines that can play games that require creativity and intuition and qualities that humans have but machines machines are capable of that too and so they made a machine play a game that was very intricate and complex and um, the combinations for the different positions and things like that in this game were astronomical where you can't just use analytical force or pure like logical force. You actually needed to be intuitive and creative to kind of like predict what the other player was gonna do and win the game. And so they created a, an AI intelligence that could play this game that required human qualities. And this system beat the best human player on earth at this game. Okay, this game is called Go Player. It's called Go Player, this game. I, I've never heard of it, but hey. So that just goes to show that machines aren't just like, ah, 
they like actually can think and shit and improve and be creative and intuitive. Honestly, that kind of scares me. That kind of scares me. So this is considered a human level artificial intelligence. The author is saying that this could result in a super intelligent machine taking over the world. So this might result in what's called an intelligence explosion okay this is like an actual term this is a process where an intelligent machine gains super intelligence a level of intelligence far beyond our human capability it achieves this through rapid learning and recursive self-improvement so it's constantly on the hunt to be better how can i be better how can i improve how can i learn new things to like improve myself, my intelligence, my knowledge base. And so the intelligent life could start designing more and more and more intelligent machines, more intelligent, more improvement, more, 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 till it's just far beyond what we're even capable of even comprehending. And this is what is known as an intelligence explosion. So we've allowed these AI machines to kind of like do their own thing, like free for all, like, you know, create the best of the best of the best. And they could just like, it could just explode, like literally just poof, like, then there's like so many machines that are so, so much smarter than us. And that could literally like, you know, fuck us up and take over the world and shit. This is what could cause us harm. Another awesome question is, could and AI be conscious. And so this goes back to a philosophical question of where does consciousness come from? What is consciousness? What are the ingredients required to create a conscious being? Because we still kind of don't know, right? Like if you look at the biological aspects of a human, it's just chemicals. It's just DNA. It's just molecules and like carbon, you know, like carbon is inert, carbon is not conscious, but yet when you put carbon in the combination that creates a human being, it becomes conscious. How does that happen? And can that happen for artificial intelligence? And that's one of the big questions that researchers of artificial intelligence are asking. A lot of AI researchers suggest that the AI experience could actually be more rich than our human experience because we could give them sensors that have better scope, okay? So we could give them better eyes that can see colors that we can't see. We can give them supersonic hearing that so to hear frequencies that we can't hear. So their overall subjective experience of Earth could be so much richer, so much more sensations and so much more things to experience than uh, what our senses are capable of experiencing. Also, AI systems can think faster than we can, okay? Our synaptic connections are pretty slow and we can design robots that have electromagnetic signals traveling at the speed of light. That is mofo fast, that is so fast. Our brain is slow compared to that. Our, our chemical connections are fucking like turtles compared to that, okay? So the bottom line of this book is not a matter of if AI will arrive, it's a matter of when it will arrive and what are the consequences of artificial intelligence on our life are we either going to upgrade ourselves to join with ai you know merge with ai or is ai going to take over the world um according to the author more discussion is required <laughs> big surprise more discussion is required to make us ask deep philosophical questions about what it means to be human Okay, so this book was um, definitely like different, okay? I would definitely not, I definitely was like hesitant to pick this book up because it's not in my field of interest, but I'm really glad that I did because I learned so much from it and it did make me ask a lot of deep, interesting, fascinating questions. So if you wanna think about what it means to be human, if you're interested in AI, if that's one of your fields of interest, machines, computers, stuff like that. I think you would really like this book. It's a really well-written book. If you're interested in book summaries, please check out the app called Blinkist. It's an excellent book summary app where you can read up to four or five, 20 books in one day because it literally takes five minutes to read a book summary. It's where I get a lot of my content for my book summaries. Please check this app out. You can get a seven day free trial and I'll link it below in the description. Subscribe to my channel if you all like book summaries. That's a huge part of my channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.